Finally, a more efficient solution for dispensing caulk and adhesives. Introducing the new 10-ounce caulk and adhesive gun and 20-ounce barrel-style caulk and adhesive gun from Makita. With an industry-leading 1,100 pounds of dispensing power for even the highest viscosity materials and cold weather use. The cock and adhesive guns are equipped with a variable speed trigger and five speed dial to match the speed to the application for an even bead at all viscosity levels. The drip reduction feature relieves pressure when the trigger is released to minimize unintentional dispensing. The Makita caulking guns are the lightest and most compact in their category with faster dispensing speed for increased productivity. Both tools are equipped with an LED light for improved visibility as well as an overload indicator light that notifies the operator when the tool is nearly overloaded to minimize breakage of the sealants. And both will accommodate caulk and adhesives in the most widely used sizes for industrial applications. The star on your LXT tool and battery means they're equipped with star protection computer controls technology that protects your battery and tool for operating optimum performance. LXT also has the fastest charge time in the category, powered by a fast charging LXT battery. It's part of Makita LXT, the world's largest 18 volt lithium ion cordless tool lineup. Good day everyone, I'm Joshua Clement with Lighty Contractors. And today I want to talk to you about how to caulk an exterior light fixture. For this job, you will need a tube of caulk designed for outside, like a siding, window, caulk. That way it can expand and contract in the temperature change, a caulking gun, and a razor blade. The first thing you want to do is cut the end of the tube of caulk off about a 45 degree angle with about a quarter inch hole. Now, when caulking an exterior light fixture, I don't like to caulk around the entire thing. I like to caulk it about two-thirds of the way and leave that bottom open. That way, if any moisture gets in there from temperature change, it has a way to come out without rusting out the inside. So, we'll start at the top. And apply some caulk. Now that we have our caulking on there, we're going to take our finger and smooth it out a little bit. I'm Joshua Clement with Lighty Contractors, and we just discussed how to caulk an exterior light fixture. Thanks for watching, and good luck with this project. Bob Reynolds here from Albion Engineering Company. Today to talk about the versatility of the B12 S20 sausage gun. Right out of the box, it will dispense 20 ounce sausage packs. The sausage piston is snug inside the barrel and it will collect the sausage wrapper without binding or wrapping. The to change over to bulk use, simply remove the sausage piston, including the backing washer, and substitute it with the H73-35 bulk piston that is right in the box. The bulk piston will maintain suction both for dispensing and loading the gun from a pail of bulk caulk. To use the same gun for 10 ounce cartridges, remove the piston, Slide the backing nut about halfway up on the threads. Add the sausage backing washer. It's sized just right to fit inside a 10 ounce cartridge. And that's why we say at Albion that the best just keeps getting better.
name is Ryan Parker, Parker Home Renovations in New Braunfels, Texas, and today I'm going to teach you how to buy a caulk gun. Usually, if you're looking to caulk around the tub or around a countertop in your house, you'll need to find a caulk gun first. And what I'm going to teach you is how to find the right caulk gun for your application. Now, they have caulk guns that range anywhere from $2 all the way up to $15, $20. Uh, what you need to know is how many times you're going to use it, and um, if you don't plan on using it very much, you could go with a cheaper one. Now, a cheaper caulk gun looks something like this, and they usually don't have any kind of spout cutter, and they usually don't have any kind of puncture pin on the end. Um, so what you would have to do is you'd have to take your tube of caulk, and you'd have to actually cut the end off of it with a razor blade and puncture it with a nail, and then stick it in the caulk gun. Now, a more expensive caulk gun, actually this one here will probably be around $2. A more expensive caulk gun will be between $3 and $5. And those typically do have a spout cutter and a puncture pin on the end. So you can stick in the end of the tube to puncture it. And then you can stick your tube in the caulk gun and it's ready to go. However, they do have more expensive ones. Uh, they have battery operated ones. but. Uh, a lot of times those are used by contractors that, that caulk all day long. And if you're only planning on caulking around a bathtub or sink or something minor, I wouldn't suggest going that route. I would suggest either your cheap 2 to $3 caulk gun or anywhere from a 3 to $7 caulk gun. Hi, I'm Chris Palmer. Welcome to Chris's Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to load a caulking gun. Here's your caulking gun. To load it, you want to pull back the plunger. See how that activates this tool here? That's what's going to push the caulk out of the tube. So you pull that all the way back. You cut the tip with the built-in tip cutter right here on your gun. If your gun doesn't have one of those, just use your utility knife, watch your fingers. A small angle is great. Then you want to, on the inside of this tube is a foil cover. So you want to puncture that with a nail or again, this caulking gun has a puncture piece built right into it. So you would just put a few holes in that foil and uh, then you're ready to put the cartridge inside the gun. Start with the open end over the plunger and then slide the tip into the end like that. A few squeezes of the trigger will uh, secure the cartridge in place. Now it's not gonna fall out on you. And then you just depress the trigger until you see the tip filling up with your material and you are ready to lay a bead of caulk. For more details, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.